We just heard a talk, actually, on temperature coefficients. Yeah. And that was one of great interest. Um, and the uncertainty in temperature coefficients and measuring them more properly. Um, earlier today, we heard about back sheep and useful life and the um, net present value gain you get from higher reliability materials. That is uh, very important to us when we do, uh, as an IE, when we do um, appraisals and energy assessments. What was very nice was Finley Colville um, presented uh, the, what would you call that? That's the PV module. Yeah, the bankability, the bankability ratings. ratings. Yeah. Um, and that was very interesting and very useful. Mm. It was very interesting that, um, you know, he clearly said that this didn't quantify quality, mm. module quality, which is um, the perfect complement to what we do because what we do is we look at quality and we don't look at the finances. So I think the two together, uh, what DNVGL does and uh, what Finley Covo is doing with that score, um, actually make a, a good pair to assess the, you know, the risks and the um, future of modules. Quality is is difficult today to assess because there are so many new designs and so many new materials. Uh, ideally, you'd have seven years worth of field data uh, on which to base some opinion or to base future forecasts. And most modules today don't have that kind of field. So um, we're left to rely on uh, extended duration tests um, at least for the design quality, but then there's also the manufacturing quality, and that requires factory audits and an understanding of the manufacturer's quality systems. Um, so, you know, all of this goes into, I guess, what you, what you would call the quality measurement of a module and a manufacturer. Well, what's exciting, I mean, we... We're trying to come to grips and trying to understand all the new module technologies that are being uh, proposed. For example, the seamless, um, the seamless interconnects that uh, are being proposed. Um, what kind of reliability can we expect from those? Uh, are there reliability tests on those? Um, there's, there's a host of new technologies. There was an interesting talk today about um, heterojunctions not having PID. Mm. So this is, uh, this is of great interest to a lot of mm. people. DNVGL is a bit more conservative on the bifacial gains mm. that are realized. Uh, when we look at it, when we look at the bifacial systems, um, there's usually a lot of adjustments you have to make to the rest of the system. The sizing the inverter, sizing the cables, sizing the racking, um, designing the racking, and those also create some change in cost. So um, we're, we're, we're not as optimistic as the 20% bifacial gain numbers that you sometimes mm -hmm. see. Uh, and often those are generated off of a single panel four meters in the air, something mm. like that. So, um, so we're, we're, we tend to be a bit more conservative. Uh, we do think that there is a, uh, a benefit, in, uh, especially in certain locations. So uh, w it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to spread. It's going to move forward. If, um, if the reliability and the durability of the glass-glass construction um, actually bears out, then that would be clearly an advantage. Um, but we're still waiting for extended duration tests. We're still waiting for evidence, mm. for some field data. Um, as you've seen, there, there are some reports of delamination in glass-glass modules, but that may be just one particular manufacturer. It, it may not be inherent to glass-glass construction. 
So from an IE point of view, if we look at technology risks, um, I, I would say that the, the half cell with a polymer back sheath um, are probably very desirable, um, lower risk. We don't anticipate new modes of failure for a half cell. Um, however, some of the other, um, some of the other technologies uh, involve new soldering or new soldering techniques. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we're a little more hesitant. We, we'd like to see some more testing and data on extended reliability testing, uh, understanding what the failure modes are for some of the new designs.